My name is Julie Rose with KCPW Radio and National Public Radio. Elder Irene, I wondered if I could appeal to your experience on the Public Affairs Committee of the Church. Um, this is kind of an unusual thing for us to have an availability with you, um, with new apostles who are called. This week we also, you, the church held its first online press conference. Also news that apostles will be meeting with editorial boards of major newspapers around the country. And I wondered if you could explain a little bit what's driving this and if perhaps this is a sign of things to come in, uh, in terms of you know, visibility of the church. I think I will not announce things to come since the first presidency has not yet had a chance to tell me where we are going. Because <laughs> it's the first presidency, really, that was the one who uh, we went to from the Public Affairs Committee and said, would this be a good thing to do, uh, to have a little more opportunity for a give and take uh, in, in a world where the media is going that way, where there is a tremendous interest in, in having a chance to have conversations. The first presidency was nice enough to suggest that we could begin to do that. They were careful uh, because, in the course, in the churches, you understand, the, the prophet is the prophet. He is the voice of the church. And so for the First Presidency to show that kind of confidence that some others, even members of the Twelve, could be put in a position where they would be, as this your interesting question you see was, how is the church standing in a particular issue? That uh, was a marvelous indication of trust on the part of the First Presidency to allow us to begin working more towards that, a chance to have open conversations as we are here. But, uh, again, you understand the caution is simply because there is one voice, the president of the church, and even now as his counselor, you see, I'd be very careful in trying to go far from where I think the first presidency and the prophet have gone. But yes, that's a long answer to your question. I, I would think that you will see more openness, uh, but with that, always with that, and you'll notice that some of us will not answer questions that were asked in exactly this way, not wanting to go into the area, which really is the province of the president of the church and the First Presidency. So there'll always be, I think, that uh, not complete uh, willingness to turn loose all the senior officers of the church to speak on every issue, because there is a voice. Uh, our belief is that the prophet of God is the prophet of God, and he is the Lord's mouthpiece in the world, and so on any matter of doctrine or major church policy, there'll always be a feeling that uh, he is the one that speaks. and. Uh, he, at his age and with his responsibilities, he can't have the, the time and the opportunity to be with the press as much as I'm sure the press would like. So there'll always be that limit on it. But I would say, yes, what you see is a wonderful opening, which I think we were deeply appreciative that the First Presidency would grant to have a little more time to converse with the press. Okay.